What's going on, Rev Heads? Dragas here, and welcome back to another episode of Rev Heads. So, in the first episode, it went pretty well. We built our first car here, and it was actually handling quite well for an old jalopy here. Decided to go on a joyride, though, and as you can see, we dinged it up quite a bit. So, we're gonna have to earn some money to fix that. Oh! You can actually go over to the map to click race over here. That actually opens up the map. Okay, so that makes sense. That's the map. So we're currently at Charlie's Garage. We can go to the backyard to race. The rest of these are road closed right now. So we'll see what those are later on. Right now, we're going to have to earn some more money. So we got to talk to my good buddy, Uncle Charlie, and ask him if we can make a few quid. Uh, if you want, I can give you some work. Great. What do you need done? Let's see what happens here. Okay, fix this car and get back to me when she's apples. I don't know why apples are a good thing in Australia, but okay, the car's making a god-awful awful squealing noise from the front. Okay, so, oh man, I don't know. I don't, I don't know how to troubleshoot this shit. Alright, well, let's go in here and see what we can do. Best thing to do is just open this thing up and see what happens. I don't know if it's referring to the brakes or if there's something going on with a fan belt or something. We can actually, can we... I don't know if we have to actually click the fan belts. Oh, let's actually check that first. Oh, there we go. The drive belt is totally broken, so we're going to remove that. This is for a Walia, and we have to buy another one. So if we go in here, there's a Walia drive belt right at the top. It seems to do that when you are on a quest. The top one is always the one that you need. All right, so we're going to take that. Uh, that should hopefully fix the squeaky issue. Let's uh, install that. Okay, we can't click the engine block. You gotta have to be, you have to be a little bit finicky here. Actually, we should probably just aim for the blue thing. So, oh, okay, may, I might have to remove some stuff to actually get in there. All right, so there we go. We got the generator. We need the drive belt, so let's put that bad boy on. We got a new one and a broken one. Well, the broken one we don't want to reinstall. So there we go. We got the fan belt back on. Let's um, let's also take off these wheels here just to check. It says. Oh, uh, there's a squealing noise from the front, so we're going to remove that, and just to make sure my brakes are okay, uh, yeah, like new, let's check out the discs, uh, and once again new, we'll do it on the other side as well, just in case, let's see what's going on here, there we go, we'll remove that one, and check both of these, oh, the rim, oh yeah, the rim's empty, no shit, I just took it off. All right, this is considered used and good for both control arm and whatever else that was. Uh, and this is good as well. So the brakes seem to be more or less okay. Oh, which we actually should check. Whatever this thing is, too, the front sway bar, just in case, new and good. So I'm thinking the only issue was the fan belt. So we should be good to uh, re-input these rims and give the car back to the customer. That should hopefully give us a little bit of money. I have no idea how much money this is going to give us, so this is pretty interesting. Uh, they have a budget of 60 bucks. I don't even know how much I spent there, but I think that should be good. Did you knock that one over already? I think so. Uh, finished. You did a bang-up job there, mate. Here's an extra 20 bucks. All right, good on you, mate. Do you want to do another one to work on? Well, that didn't earn us too much money, so I guess we're going to have to do a few of these today. Uh, ooh, but we get to check out some of the cars. This is pretty cool. This car's making god-awful squealing noise from the front. Well, I think we know what's going on with this one. Uh, it should be probably the same thing. Look at this, though. This thing is obviously a little bit more modded. My god. All right, let's check out that, that belt first of all. All right, so the belt. Yes, once again, the drive belt is broken. Okay, so we're going to remove that. That should be... Uh, the issue fixed once again, so we'll go into there. It should be, yes, right at the top, wanted to drive belt. Uh, they still have a budget of 70 bucks, but I think that's all we needed. So, once again, I gotta figure out how to get this thing on. Not the easiest thing. I think I gotta use that on that. Yes, there we go. And we're gonna put the V8 drive belt on. Can I, can I test drive this car? Like, that, that'd be kind of fun if I could do that. Let's see. No, it doesn't look like I can do anything with it, unfortunately. All right, well, that one should be finished. I'm not even going to check up the rest because, yes, it's the same thing as before. Good on you, mate. Want, want another one to work on? Yeah, sure. Let's do the... If it's the same thing over and over again... Oh, the engine's dead this time. All right, you just left. What the fuck happened? <laughs> so, yes, we fixed his car and immediately he blew his engine. Well, at least that's good business for us. We got to buy a whole new engine. This is actually really good for us because I believe we get his old dead engine for free. So we'll up this and we will remove that engine. Uh, get to the engine block here, there we go. And yes, it's totally broken. I can't actually fix it, so we need to remove it and go and get another V8 engine. I wonder if I could like downgrade his engine. That would be majorly douchey though. 
New racing V8 engine. His budget is 13600 This is 13000 so we'll take that. There we go, and install his wonderful new engine here. And I get to keep his old one. It's, I mean, it's not going to work very well, but it's still worth $3,607. So there we go. Install the new engine. Oh, shit. Okay, I got to... Oh, this is not going to be fun. Look at all these things that's missing. All right, so we got to put on the carburetor. Oh, okay. That's not good. All right, so it looks like I can't actually go into my inventory and simply rip it off the other engine. So what we're going to have to do now... Oh, don't go over to that. We need to go into my inventory here, go to the V8 engine. So there it is right there. And we need to remove everything. So, oh, supercharged as well. Let's start off as removing that. We'll remove the carburetor, the oil filter, you get the idea. We gotta remove all of this, install it on the new engine, and it should be good to go. Unfortunately, that means I lose a lot of my profits here that I thought I was going to keep. All right, so that engine's empty. That should mean that we should be able to install what we need on this one. So there we go, we got the carburetor, we'll install that. And yeah, we just need to go down the list here, installing all these parts, no big deal. All right, and the final one, the spark plugs. Now, I think I also need to install the top exhaust, don't I? Uh, maybe I can keep that. I don't know. He still has a budget of 600 bucks. Let's just take it down and see what happens. Is he, is he gonna be okay with me keeping the rest of his parts? Uh, let's just see what happens when we say finished. Oh, you did a bang-up job there. Here's an extra 250 bucks. God damn. All right, so we're gonna say not at the moment. We do have a little bit of money now, and I should have. Yes, as you can see, this broken engine is worth... Oh, well, that sucks. Uh, the engine's worth absolutely nothing because we got literally everything off of it. So I was hoping to earn a little bit more money there. Uh, unfortunately, we couldn't. All right, but we can get rid of this. Oh, that's worth nothing, too. So it seems like anything that you take off other cars, you don't get any money for. Mind you, I did steal his fucking supercharger. <laughs> I did not reinstall it, and it allowed me to do that. Uh, so now we have a supercharger. I'm actually wondering, can we install... I don't think we can install that onto my little old car, but let's bring this thing in and see what we can repair on it. So first of all, uh, let's repair the dents that are in the body. So 190 bucks, there we go, fixed. And I still haven't looked at the engine to see what we broke. I'm gonna say probably the radiator, at least that is broken. Uh, it's considered used, so we will fix it up. That's only 14 bucks, there we go. Uh, that should be... Good as new. How's my headlights doing? All right, those are considered good as well. So I think overall it was just some body damage that we had. Oh, nope. We got a water pump. Uh, we also got some oil issues. Oil's already bad? Damn. All right, well, we may as well go down the list here, improving everything that's quite low. Just because, I mean, this is going to be our car for probably a little while here. Uh, synthetic motor oil. Oh, okay, that's why we can't uh, improve that, because it's just motor oil. Thermostat, I cannot actually improve as well. Okay, well, so there's certain things you have to just rebuy other things you can actually fix so the air filter uh that's considered good as well so overall this is actually okay all right let's work on our suspension here anything that we can fix you know what it's so cheap to fix it we may as well do it uh and start improving this car because i am going to keep this car it's going to be a nice light car once we get a big engine in it i think it's going to work just fine uh, what is this thing here? I never actually looked at this. Oh, it's the fuse box. All right, this is considered new. A dollar to fix it. May as well fix it all the way up to 100%. Let's just keep fixing everything here. All right, one thing we did need was a new drive belt, so I bought a new one of those. We got a V6 one. Uh, there's my new one. I wonder why it's still considered new, but it's a 96%. Incompatible item. Uh-oh. Uh, I thought it was the right one. It is. Wait, I'm really confused. Why is the Walia one not working? Because this one... Oh. Okay, now I'm just really confused. Is it because I have a V6 engine? I must... Yeah, I have the V6 version of this car. I didn't... I, yeah, I didn't even notice that till now. We got a V6 engine in this. So, we already have a decent engine. We might be able to actually race today. Uh, anyways, I bought already one of the drive belts. But I need to buy a V6 drive belt. It doesn't look like... Ooh, there might not be one in here. Ah, oh, there we go. Use drive belt for V6. That's not going to be the best item, but it doesn't look like we have another V6 item. So, uh, yeah, I bought a couple of the wrong items here, guys. We got lots of drive belts now. <laughs> I thought the L6 was the same as the V6. Thankfully, the one that we bought is considered almost new. Uh, a lot better than the other one. So we'll install that. There we go. That's going to allow us to not have to deal with that anytime soon. Uh, let's fix that. All right. I think we pretty much... 
you know, we, we improved most of the stuff here. Ooh, $44 to fix that. Let's do that. Differential box, $56. Bucks. Let's fix that as well. Let's get this thing all into ship shape. Uh, drive shaft was a little bit bent as well. All right, there we go. I think we are pretty good here. So I, I think I'm going to drop this sucker down and let's actually put some decals on this as well. Let, let, let's try and pimp this thing out, if you will. Okay, so what decal do we want? I don't want that. Oh, yeah, fire, as lame as it is. <laughs> I think we're going to do fire, ladies and gentlemen. So let's get this a nice, a nice orangey. Uh, yeah, that looks pretty good like that. So I'll put some orange decals on there. Do we want anything else? Can we, should we, should we do the top as well? That looks kind of pimping. Uh, what else do we got? That over there. Uh, some stripes down the middle. That, that attaches to the flames. That actually looks really cool. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty damn impressed. All right, what if we get rid of the double stripe, though? And I actually like that even more. So I think we're gonna do that. Let's just change the color a little bit. Maybe maybe even yellow. Oh, yeah, that looks way better. So yellow and red. Yeah, that's looking good. All right, is it worth 250 bucks? Of course it is. Adding flames to your car, everybody knows, adds at least 100 horsepower to it. Uh, ooh, clicking the gas canister. Uh, use your petrol tin to fill your empty car's tank up to 20 liters. Okay, I didn't notice this, but you can actually click things around the room uh, to actually use them, which is pretty cool. All right, well, let's start it up, make sure it's okay. Oh, yeah, it sounds perfect. It's not, it's not backfiring anymore. I, I don't think. Yes, it, it should be good. All right, so let's go. You know what? Let's try the backyard out and see what happens. Select race mode. Time trial. Okay, well, we're actually going to be into a race now. Good day, mate. You want you want a bet? Uh, I reckon I can beat the fastest time. I reckon I can do a silver time. I'll go for bronze. Yeah, let's go for bronze here. Uh, 500 bucks. I don't even think I have that much. Sounds like a roar to me. Maybe next time. So we actually do have to spend money to race. So maybe we shouldn't race just yet. I actually do kind of want to go out and race that lady that we saw with the other car. So I think we're going to go do that. Actually, there's another one right over here. So if we go say... Oh, that, that looks like a really fast car. The problem is, all these cars look awesome. So you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go down a little bit and see what we can find. All right, unfortunately, it's still making that sizzle noise. So I have some sort of overheating issue with my car. I do need to figure out how to fix that. I tried to improve my rad. That is totally fixed. So I don't think it's my rad. It might actually be my oil. So I'll have to figure out how to get into that and see what we can do here. It definitely isn't going as fast as it used to. So we fixed a lot of it, I'll tell you that much. But as you can see, I'm I'm struggling to get over 100 kilometers an hour. So I I think the car still needs some work, unfortunately, uh, which we will do later on. I'm just going to go over here again. We're back at the racetrack. I really want to get into this racetrack. Let's see, is it open yet? No, it's not. All right, we're going to go back to the garage for right now. And just see if I can figure this thing out. Okay, you can see it is smoking. So it's definitely in the front somewhere. I have no idea what it could be, though. You can open my rad. You can see. Uh, cooling fans considered 79%. Maybe that's what I need. All right, so I don't think... Yeah, we cannot fix the cooling fan. We need to buy a new one. So let's go to the market here. I, I don't see how a 79% fan would allow it to overheat though. Use radiator fan, new fan for Margura, new radiator fan for Ba, uh, radiator, f oh, okay, so it looks like all I can get, oh, new radiator fan, that's 50 bucks. All right, that's more, that's more than worth it, so we'll take that, and hopefully that's what we need, because it was considered something else. Cooling fan, we're going to remove that, and there we go. So we got a brand new one, we'll install that, hopefully that improves our temperature issues. All right, I'm just curious. Let's see what happens when we sell our car. So we upped it to $9,000. I don't think it's actually worth selling because I feel like we put a few more bucks into this. So you know what? What I'm going to do, I want to get to 500 bucks because I really want to try and do that race. I want to see how much you can win if we, of course, do win, which is uh, probably not going to happen. This thing is hard to handle. Okay, uh, so this car's making a god-awful squealing noise from the front. We already know what that is. Oh, this looks awesome, though. So I would love to do some off-roading in this game. Obviously, it's in Australia, and this is the car for that. I am really jealous right now because uh, I can't wait to try out some of the bigger cars. All right, well, let's fix this up. It's probably the fan once again, so... Thankfully, you know, repairs in this game are quite easy. So let's open this up. Let's see. Yes, dry belt is broken. Surprise, surprise. We will repair that and uh, get it sent out to him. All right, the next one. Oh, this is looking pretty cool, too. Whenever I pull up, the temp keeps heading through the roof. 
Last time there was steam everywhere. This could actually help me fix my car too because we have that issue. I immediately assume that's the radiator, but uh, we'll figure that out really quickly. Uh, this is considered good. Also, the radiator is considered good. Okay, so it's got to be something else. Maybe the fan? Uh, I think we already checked that out. That's good as well. Alright, I honestly don't see anything really wrong with this car. I've repaired a few things that were at 80%, but I think you can go in here and say, yeah, I could do with a hand. The thermostat and fan used to stick in this heat. Uh, I don't recall them being destroyed. I'm pretty sure those are one of the first things I've checked. So let's just check it out. Uh, the fan, I did not fix it. It's a $3 fix, but it's at 90%. So let's get the fan done. The thermostat is on the front somewhere. So uh, that should be it. Nope, that's the water pump. There's the thermostat. And that's also 90% as well. So I guess that was a total of $6 to fix it. Uh, I don't see anything else wrong with it. So let's just try that and see what we can do. Uh, finished. Good on you, mate. Do you want another one to work on? All right, I guess that was how to do it. So we're almost at 500. Just got to do one more here. All right, the guy recharged the battery, but it's already dead. So I'm thinking we just need to get him a new battery uh, because it's probably worn out, uh, as it did say. So let's go in here. Uh, do batteries have their own place? I don't think they do. Low charge supercharger. Okay, uh... It should be new generator for Jungu, a mark of fuel gauge, cooling. Oh man, I can't find it. Ah, there we go. New battery, 12 volts, 60. I don't know what our battery is, so let's just, to be safe, let's click this. All right, this is a 12 volt 60. Okay, so we need to go buy that thing. Oh, wrong button. Oh, we're getting a lot of parts, by the way, just because of all this junk. All right, but we need the $150 one, so we'll take that. He's still got 430 bucks, so I'm hoping. That's probably all I need to do, so there we go, we'll install that. Uh, let's put her down, and that should be it, ladies and gentlemen. We can go race now, we've earned enough money. So we'll talk to the guy, there we go, finished up. Uh, you didn't, oh, I can't charge him for this, so there's no way I can pay you for it. If you've got another car, oh, oh no, I did something wrong. Okay, I thought it was just gonna be the battery, obviously there was something else with an issue. Okay, this one should be a little easier. When the car breaks, it steers to the left, that's a telltale sign. We got a brake issue here, so probably in the front front left most likely so we will remove this and let's see here yes totally broken brakes are broken so we're gonna remove that and we need to buy a new brake we should probably check the other ones as well just in case uh these both might be broken here this one yes is broken as well hell we'll check the back as well just in case all right and the back one is considered good at 91 percent i'm assuming this back one is good as well it's just the front brakes we need to fix but just in case we'll check it Yes, so we need to get some front brakes for this thing. New set of brakes for the Butha Bang, I believe. Let's just make sure, yes, it's the Butha Bang is what we need, so hopefully it's still in here. We could go for used brakes if we want to be a real douche. You know what? We've screwed up enough cars already. Let's get the new brakes here and do it right. Okay, so I don't know if we get four brakes or two with a set of brakes, so let's find out here. All right, front brake, there we go. Uh, yes, we got two new front brakes, perfect. We're going to install that there and install that over there. See, that's the things I would expect coming to a mechanic, you know, brakes, batteries, things like that. I I'm doing some of the more difficult ones as of late, so front brakes again. New, there we go, we'll install that, and bam, put on the wheels and we should be good to go. Alright, please tell me I didn't miss anything in this one, we should probably, oops, I didn't mean to do that, uh, install that, there we go. We should probably check the front sway bar and stuff though, just in case that's broken as well. Uh, let's just see here, that's considered used at 81%, how much does it cost to fix that? It's $4, just in case we'll fix that for him, he'll probably be happy about that. Let's see the control arms as well. You know, anything that has to do with the steering could potentially make it steer left or right when braking, I'm assuming. Alright, everything else looks fine though, so we'll drop this down and that should be a payment, I'm hoping. Alright, finished up, you didn't- oh, for fuck's sakes, what did I do wrong this time? Oh my god, that's three in a row. They should really at least let you know, hey, you should probably fix three or four things. Like, even talking to him, I talked to him there just to make sure, and he did mention the brakes. So, uh, maybe I had to go deeper into the brakes, I don't know. This one is a fan belt, though, so that should be hopefully it. Uh, yes, that's totally broken. We've done this one enough to know that uh, that's probably just the fan belt. Ah, there we go. We actually made some money. Alright, so not at the moment. I think I'm good for right now. We're actually gonna go try and race, ladies and gentlemen. Let's try in the backyard. Oh, what the fuck? Now it's locked? Uh, do I have to go get my car or something? Let's go to the parking lot, grab my car, 
and then I'm assuming I can race. I hope so, or maybe there's a time issue here or something. All right, we'll try it again, though. Garage, oh, no, not garage, damn it. Go to the backyard, and yes, there we go, time trial. Oh, I could have actually went for a couple of laps. You know what, let's try that first just in case here, because I don't want to waste money if I don't need to. So it looks like his track is a simple circle, so this shouldn't be too bad for us. Uh, mind you, this is off-road, and I'm on slick tires, so... Yeah, might have wanted to do off-road tires. Oh my god, this is this. Okay, slick tires and dirt just don't work. All right, here we go. We made it for a full lap. I didn't crash or anything yet, which is good. But as you can hear, that is not a good sound. I'm a little worried about my car. So I don't know what a bronze is. You know what? Let's just try it. Screw it. I would love to earn some money if I, if I can. So we're going to stop that race, continue here, and let's try the time trial. And just let's just spend some money. Uh, sure, if you want to beat the time, you're going to have to bet... 500 bucks. Uh, sounds a bit lark. I'm game. All right, here we go. Uh, target times 29 seconds. I know I'm not going to beat that because I think I got like 32. Uh, all right, let's just focus on it. Let's see if we can do it. Come on, baby. If my car was as good as when I bought it, then uh, you know what? We might be able to do this, but ooh, we're already at 21 seconds, guys, and we're halfway down the fucking lap. Come on, baby. Keep that speed up. Oh, fuck. Too much speed. Too much speed. Okay. Let's, let, let's not crash this thing. That's more important to not crash this. Oh, uh, yeah. We're already at 33 seconds. This is not good. All right. Well, now we know we do need to upgrade a little bit more before we start doing our racing career because uh, betting is quite hefty. Like, 500 bucks is not cheap. This one's going a bit better, though, if we don't spin out over here, which is harder than it seems with slick tires on dirt. But, oh, God. Yes. Yes, just keep going. 22 seconds. Oh, fuck. This is, this is gonna be close. I don't think... No, I'm not gonna make it, man. We're already at 30. Shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, why? Why did I decide to do this? This was the worst idea ever. I should have at least gotten off-road tires before I tried this. This poor car. At this point, I'm thinking about selling it and just restarting. I mean, 10,000 bucks or whatever we get for this is pretty damn good. But unfortunately, we just lost 500 bucks because I'm an idiot and think I have a better car than what I actually have. All right, well, at least it's still running. It made it all the way around the track. It didn't do so well, though. There we go. Race finished. <laughs> Man, 32 seconds. That was pretty close, though. That wasn't too bad. Okay, our thermostat was at 79%. I'm wondering if that is what we need. Is there... Let's look at the... Is the water pump on here, too? Let's actually just open up my engine and see what's going on here. Uh, water pump is considered new. Oil is considered bad right now. Uh, I did take the thermostat off, though, so I think we're going to buy that used thermostat. Unfortunately, we can't just go buy new everything, so we, we have to buy what we can get our hands on. Uh, I like how new Radiator fan, by the way, has an exclamation mark like it's really exciting or something. But yes, we'll buy this used thermostat. Hopefully it's better than our other one because we don't have much money right now. Oop, didn't mean to touch that. I meant to open the engine here. Now let's see. 90% a hell of a lot better than 79, so hopefully that helps out with our power or rather heating issues. All right, well, guys, I'm kind of in a predicament. We can either sell this car, which, uh, how much does it, is it worth now? 8920 so it dropped a bit because I've crashed it a little bit. Uh, so we can get 8920 bucks for this, or we can just do some more jobs and slowly upgrade this one. Like I said, I'd love to get this thing to a V8, but honestly, it's kind of not working as well as it once was, and I'm not really sure why. So if you guys have any suggestions, maybe we should buy a new car. Let's actually check out the cars in here because it's always fun. Oh, what the fuck is this thing? Okay, this is just making me really jealous. Like, we got drag cars in here. There's so many cool cars in this game that I really want to get into. Uh, might actually be smart to buy a wrecked car as well and just focus on improving this car as much as possible with the spare parts. But yeah, we're going to end this one here, guys. We did try out the racing at the backyard track. Now, there is supposed to be, like, drag strips and everything, so I'm assuming that's where these rogue clothes are going, uh, which is pretty interesting. And yeah, on the next episode, we'll just continue where we left off. Let's actually check my guy out, see how he's doing. Mechanics? skills 89 racer zero and dealer zero okay so maybe we should start dealing some cars that might be fun to try in the next episode as well regardless guys i hope you enjoyed this one and thank you for watching and liking i'll see you guys in the next one